Hey, man, I'm working. Hang on, man. Hang on. I'm working. Hang on here. Man, you don't want a lot from me. There we go. Hit the button over here. I'm working. Hang on. Hey, man. I gotta pay the bills. Hang on. Okay, I think we're all set up. We're good to go. We're all good here. Sylvia Cervantes Bustos. Good morning, Sylvia. I thought I saw you at Piazza. No, 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 that wasn't you. Okay, no, 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 that would, I think you were at the North Star Mall. There you go. There we go, Marcos Orozco, como dos adolescentes. Did I say that right? Adolescentes, adolescentes. I think I said that right. Yeah, Marcos Orozco, como dos adolescentes. I think I got that right. Good morning, Tuesday morning, Double R Radio. The first day of May, el primer de mayo 2018. I said that pretty good, right? El primer de mayo 2018. Man, I can get used to this stuff. El primer de mayo 2018. Woohoo! I'm ready to go to Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. You know, I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm very upset right now. I am very, 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 in the words of Elmer Fudd, I am very, very upset right now. And I'm going to talk to you about what happened to me yesterday. Something that has never, ever happened to me, happened to me yesterday. And you're probably going, Robert, is it something sexual? No, no, no. It's nothing sexual whatsoever. Some one of the one of the first time ever's happened to me yesterday, and I'm going to talk about it. And I'm going to get all bent, bent, bent out of shape and pissed off. I can't even talk about it. But we're going to talk here a little bit. Then I'll get pissed off. Okay, you're going to see me get pissed off here in a minute. Not right now. I'm going to say my good morning, but you are going to see me get pissed off here in a minute. Let me see here. There we go. Let's do some good morning shout out. There we go. Good morning, Sylvia Cervantes Bustos, Becky Lopez. Good morning, Becky. There we go. Danny Navarro, to me. Good morning, Danny. How we doing, amigo? Este, Becky Lopez. Good morning, uh, Veronica Lopez. Good morning, Sylvia Cervantes Bustos again. Good morning, good morning, Robert Brown the third. How you doing, Robert? So you're not Robert Brown the first. You're not Robert Brown the second. You're Robert Brown the third. Kind of sounds like my ex-wives. Not the first one. Not the second one. And there's not going to be a third one. Good morning, Jada. Good morning to Margie Pacheco. Good morning, Andrea Guadalupe Rios. Good morning, Eduardo Rodriguez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, let's see what's going on out here. Uh, just y'all hang tight with me, man. Like I said, I'm going to get pissed off here in a minute. You can understand in a minute why. Maria Gonzalez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, let's go here first. Check this out. I never knew this existed. I really didn't until I saw the news. Check this out. In-flight sexual assaults on the rise. Now, you know what I'm talking about, right? This is talking about being sexually assaulted while you're on a plane. I didn't know this existed. How in the hell can you sexually assault somebody on the plane? Well, authorities are saying that these overnight planes that take off and you're in the air for about 10 or 12 hours, whatever the case may be, well, there are sexual assaults going on while you're on the plane. <laughs> I didn't realize this. So I said, I got to read up on this. What's going on? Women are falling asleep. There's another by themselves. They get a, you know, they get a, a, a what do you call it? A, a cover and then a little blanket and they're there, you know, there's a dormida and there's a guy next to her, right? <laughs> there's a guy next to her going, Papa time, Papa, right? <laughs> And, and men are trying to sexually assault women while they're asleep on the plane. I never realized this existed. Well, the FBI is trying to crack down on this, and they're saying that from here on out, the planes are not going to be giving out blankets. <laughs> no blankets, no sexual assaults in the middle of a plane ride <laughs> from one place to another. I never knew it existed. Good morning, John. I got it to Maria Gonzalez. Good morning, good morning. Ernesto Tejeda Trevino. Good morning. Ernie Ordiales, good morning, Guadalupe, man, good morning, good morning. Now, check this out. Crazy story. A woman stabbed her husband for looking at another woman during Fiesta here in San Antonio. Man, what a fatal attraction. What a loser. Anyways, a woman is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon after she allegedly stabbed her husband in the arm because he had been looking at other women earlier in the night at Fiesta at Market Square. Well, <laughs> man, 
According to the police, the 27-year-old woman and her husband were arguing in the kitchen of their home when she grabbed the kitchen knife and swung at her husband, stabbing him in the upper portion of his left arm. Anyways, police said that the woman told her husband, I could kill you right now. You don't even know what I'm capable of. And the man took off running, yelling and screaming down the street. <laughs> this woman, I'm telling you, <laughs> that would have scared me. Any woman tells me, I can kill you. I'll cut it off. Don't ever, ever look at other women again. I say, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm serious, man. That's some crazy stuff right there. Good morning, Chad. I'm going to Irvi Ornelas says, uh, Team Zach out of Carlsbad, New Mexico with you. Go gray, in, uh, go gray in May. There we go. May is Brain Tumor Month. I didn't know that. That's cool. Good morning. There we go. Carlsbad, New Mexico. Anyways, Esther, um, women nowadays are like this. Women want to kill. <laughs> women are jealous. You know, <laughs> if they don't want to cut it off, they just want to kill us. <laughs> leave us alone, ladies. Please, leave us alone. <laughs> hey, I didn't mean to. You know, I'm thinking about it right now. Uh, some of the women that I've dated, I'm thinking... Have any one of them been really, really jealous? Oh, yeah. No lie. One time I went to a movie with this girl back in the 80s, and uh, we were watching this movie, and they had the sex part in the movie, and I was like, you know, <laughs> right? You know, and uh, uh, the girl that I was with, she pinched my arm, she goes, don't even think about it. I said, don't think about what? I'm not even doing anything. Hey, man, come on, leave me alone. <laughs> hey, man. You know, women, women can get very, very jealous, but then again, so can guys. Good morning, I've been going out to Javi Morales. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, we're going to talk. I'm going to tell exactly what happened to me yesterday, and I'm going to get pissed off. Um, and you, I'm going to have to apologize now for getting pissed off, but this is what happened to me yesterday. This is all true. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up whatsoever. This is going to be a true story. Good morning, Chad. I got a Tony Rebus. Good morning, Tony. Juan A. Gonzalez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, yesterday I was doing the Uber thing, right? As I normally do, as I've normally done for eight months. I'm doing the Uber thing. I'm in downtown San Antonio, picking up, dropping off, doing my thing. All this is true, okay? Now, I cannot tell you how many times I have picked up or dropped off people right in front of the Alamo. Okay? All true. Yesterday, I was just getting my afternoon started. Good morning, Chad. I got up to Jennifer and Alexander. Yesterday, I was just getting my afternoon started when I got an alert to go pick up a person right across the street from the Alamo. Sounds pretty simple to me, right? So, I'm right by the Alamo. I, you know, got to go to the next street over, and I'm coming up pulling up right in front of the Alamo like I normally do. I stop and the girl's waving me down. Hey man, you're my Uber driver. So here comes the girl. She crosses the street, gets in the back of my car. All true. Gets in the back of my car. Now, that didn't even take 10 seconds. Kind of reminded me of my prom night. <clears throat> but anyways, that didn't take more than 10 seconds, right? She's in my car and I go, hi, how you doing? I put my car in drive. I'm getting ready to take off. And lo and behold, a cop stops me. This is all true. I'm not making this up. A policeman stops me. And I put my car in park and I said, yes, officer, how can I help you? And he goes, license and registration, please. And I go, hey, man, what did I do? What's the matter? You know, license and registration. I give him my license and I told him, do you want my fishing license? Do you want my voter's registration? Which one would you like, sir? He goes, you know what I'm talking about? And I go, man, this guy's tough. So anyways, I give him my license and registration. He goes to the back of my vehicle, and he's checking out my license plate, right? He's checking out all this stuff. He comes back with a ticket in his hand and gives me a ticket. And I go, why are you giving me a ticket? What did I do wrong? He goes, you stopped here to pick up a passenger, and if you look at the sign back there, it says no stopping, no standing still in front of the certain section in front of the Alamo. And I said, I didn't know that sign existed. He goes, well, you know now. <laughs> and I told him, why don't you just give me a warning? Give me a warning and we'll be good to go. He goes, you already had your warning, the sign back there. So then I told him, you know, officer, you guys must be having a really slow day for you to guys be out there giving tickets in front of the Alamo. Are you crazy? Well, anyways, he gives me a ticket, right? So anyways, I take off. 
right? And the passengers are going, that was crazy. Why did he give me a ticket? I said, because of me, you stupid bitch. <laughs> I didn't say that. I just said, no, man, because he said that we're not allowed to stop in front of the animal to pick up somebody or drop off. I've been doing this for eight months. I've been doing it all, this all these days. Well, anyways, they do have a sign. I'm not going to lie to you. They do have a sign, but the sign doesn't face the traffic. The sign faces the buildings across the street. So if you're driving, you're not going to see the sign like 35 miles an hour or don't make a U-turn. The sign doesn't face the traffic. It faces the buildings across from the Alamo. So my ticket is $35, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you, X-Men. I told the cop, I know X-Men from T-Town. He goes, you do? Then it's $70. Hey, man, why are you doubling up? Come on, man, come on. <laughs> no, but really, my ticket is $35 to pay. And it's not the $35. It's just what's going on here. I mean, I wasn't even there 10 seconds. I feel like if I was going 31 on a 30 and I was given a ticket, that's the way I feel. Something very mediocre, something just that should not happen happen and to me i see it as 35 dollars i'm throwing out the window and i work hard for my money man come on <laughs> i do <laughs> so i'm really really debating if i should just pay the 35 dollars and move on with life or go to the courthouse and fight it i want to win really man i'm going to get the dna i'm going to get forensic you know i'm going to get every i'm you know i'm going to get whatever it takes i'm going to get a lawyer who's 10 times better than johnny cochran i want to beat this that's if i want to put the time and effort into it i don't know if i want to do this or not i really don't so by friday i'll know i'll know if i'm going to fight it or just pay the $35 and move on with life. Good morning, John. I'm going to tell you, Connie Villarreal. Good morning, Juan Guzman. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So there you go. I know I didn't get too pissed off, and I feel better about this, but really, man, to get a ticket, to get a parking ticket for stopping in front of the Alamo for 10 seconds. Talk about a new definition of remember the Alamo. Well, I'm going to remember the Alamo, all right? That's for damn sure. 8.07 in the morning, the first day of May. Good morning, Double R Radio. Let's get it going. Little something by the dance band. Whip it. Whip it good. No, it's not whip it good. It's just whip it. So we'll whip it. When of the S. Good morning, Mr. Rick Baldenama. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyway, there you go. There's my parking ticket story. So $35, man. To me, this is the way I see it. I'm going to talk to I'm going to tell you like my dad would tell me. $35 for a parking ticket? Mijo, you can buy a dozen eggs. A loaf of bread, un saco de papas, it's a 12 pack of beer, you know, and you know, a, a, a bottle of aspirin, and you'll break it down for me, man. <laughs> On $35, you really, really will. Good morning, John. I'm going to Estela Castañón. Estela Castañón. I hope I got that right. Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, good morning. Juana Sanchez, good morning. Joanna Sanchez, good morning, good morning. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me, Robert Rivas Radio.com. It's a good morning. Shout out to me to Alice Rodriguez, good morning. Let's get to the morning show, Robert Rivas Radio.com. Click on that blue button that says mobile app. Click here, and you'll be joining me live. What are they? Morning show time.